But what this team has done in the last couple weeks, when four in a row win, they have to win. And that puts a lot of pressure on this ball club. They've won four in a row, five out of six, when their backs have been to the wall and they've responded and come through. I think with the 10 wins in conference play, 10 and five, I think they've got a pretty, they've got a great shot to be picked. I agree with you. And nobody can put any kind of value on the pressure that the entire team and coaching staff went through with the uh, tragic plane crash. Holding inside called on Jameel Haywood. That's the first on him and fourth team foul. Offensively, Oklahoma State, Maurice Baker. See there, nine points. The rest of the team and Yan uh, Zien has been quiet, and he's the guy that uh, really overall makes him go and then spaces out the score. Well, they quickly get the double over to him. A good defense. Williams not there. Newton gathers the rebound. He has been very effective since he's come into ball game. Ten minutes left in this opening half. Inside the big Aaron McGee. And Keep may have gotten a little bit of that one. And a solid defense by Keep. Just stay in front of McGee. Make him score over the top. Keep is a big fella. Three seconds. Called against Oklahoma State. I look at Jason. Goes 6'10", 290. That might be on the low side once in a while. He is a big presence inside. McGee, by the way, only one of six to start the game. So both big people inside struggling just a bit. And what Kelvin Sampson, they want McGee to do is when he catches in the low post, face up. He's a better face up player than make his move. He's quicker than some of the Oklahoma State players. Quick double on McGee. Newton has to climb the ladder to get that one. If, Shot clock is at 10. If that's a good pass, Newton gets off the jump shot. To Bryce. Blocked by Yanzian and the follow by Haywood. Jameel Haywood. Championship week presented by 7 Up. Ron Franklin, John Sunbold coming to you with 8.50 remaining in the opening half, and it's a 22 to 14 Sooner lead. Stolen by the Sooners. Nine turnovers against the Cowboys in the early going, and Eddie Sutton simply is not happy with that kind of disregard for handling the basketball. It's going to be Sanders on the touch foul. First one on here. Well, good matchup we talked about on the opening. Sanders guarding Nolan Johnson. Johnson good off the dribble. Sanders just has to stay in front of him. Don't reach because Johnson is too strong with the ball. He, he's going to make you foul him if you do. Taken away nicely by Melvin Sanders. Dishes it back to Sanders, and he missed the layup. And the foul on Nolan Johnson. Wow, the reason crazy. Haywood is down is because Maurice Baker, as he was dribbling, stepped right in the middle of his stomach and dribbled over him. Yeah, on the rebound, Maurice just basically got the ball, didn't worry that Haywood was underneath him. Well, what a sequence. Kelvin Sampson getting the technical. All started by Melvin Sanders getting a steal that the Sooners didn't like. And take a look at the ball handling. Yeah, Victor might have gotten away with a little bit of a walk. Now Haywood goes down. Maurice Baker gets the rebound. Watch this. Steps Step right in the middle. Right in the middle of his stomach. You know what, Ron? He really can't help that. If he looks, oh, no. if he looks down, I mean, he may not get the basketball. So now all of a sudden bodies are everywhere. No, I'm not saying it was malice or forethought, <laughs> but he uh, that's the reason that Jamil was down and everybody was... Everybody else was up. Now Baker goes to the foul line. 80% free throw shooter on the technicals. Hey. 
There's the initial reaction. And he is talking about the grab on the other end. When Sanders took the basketball, he thought Haywood was grabbed. He attempted to score. So the Cowboys can take what was a 10 point deficit and draw very close. Gets them both. It is a five point ball game as we hit the eight minute mark in the opening half. That's the first technical foul on Kelvin Sampson this season. Stolen by Williams. Victor Williams off to Baker. And that's just what John was talking about. That is quickness personified right there, folks. Uh, Victor Williams with the steal, quick hands, and then when Maurice goes to the other end, he absolutely stops on a dime so he, he won't pick up any charge. Victor Williams with the foul. Now what a matchup. Price and Williams... Two little guys that are fighting each other. So this is a timeout. 7.32 left until halftime. It's a three-point game as you watch the steal. And the dish, Baker, gets it to go.